Sa panahon sa buong madamo nga negosyo ang nagsirado kag nagapamuhin sang trabahador, dako ang papel sa mga magagmay nga negosyante nga pabaskugon ang lokal nga ekonomiya para makabulig sa mga nagapangita sang obra kag mapasanyog ang pagbaligya anay. Sa sini nga tinutuyo gintukod ang obra Ilonggo, isa ka social enterprise nga nabase sa siyudad sang Iloilo, ang ila pamaagi sa pagbulig tutukan ta. Mga kapuso, makaupon ta subang aga ang marketing director sa Obra Ilonggo, si Ms. Lenny Ledesma. Good morning, Ma'am Lenny. Good morning, Attorney Sed. Good morning sa mga viewers natin. Hmm. Kamusta ka, Ma'am? Kamusta ang Obra Ilonggo sa tunga sining pandemya? Okay, Ma'ala. We are all coping, no? Given the pandemia. Kasi amugid na, no? Uh, try to work with whatever we can. <laughs> Tell us about Obra Ilonggo sa mga wala, uh, wala pa kabati about this uh, uh, institution, organization. Ano ba lang Obra Ilonggo? Especially the mga communities and the micro-entrepreneurs, especially in these times ng pandemia. Kahit ibudla yan sila, sila gidang affected sa pandemia, especially with all this um, quarantine period. So we decided how to do a project on how we can help them and also promote Ilonggo culture. Gusto gid namon mabuligan tanan ng micro entrepreneurs, um, artisans naton, local communities. So we have weavers, uh, mga pandan weavers, may mga buri weavers, may kita mga ang ati sang panay na buligan naton. Kay kami ang may makadala sa ila out into the Philippines and out into the world, no the whole nation. So aside from just Iloilo City, we can just bring them around. We should help them kay how will they be able to market na right now with the pandemic? Budlayan gin sila eh. What do you think is unique about Ilonggo product? What makes it stand out from the rest? Kung Ilonggo nga produkto, ano ini siya? Um, Damo-damo, bigyan na classic na products. But basically, let's look to what are we famous for. And we have the hablon, hmm. the hablon weave. That's centuries old and generations of weavers already. We also promote um, our local materials like buri, um, coconut, pandan, so mga amuna, things that we can find around and shell. But the pinaka ano bigya, of course, is hablon because that's what Iloilo is really known for, no? the island of Panay. It appears, Ma'am Lenning, hindi lang galiya, it's just a product itself. Go may nakaangkla pa to what we are known for, to what we are historically or traditionally invested in as a people. No? Amunin mga produkto ang gusto nyo nga ma ma taga an opportunity to be marketed uh, in uh, other parts of the country or the world is that right diba kasi attorney said um, you know some of these industries they might die if we don't support them mm -hmm. and this weavers um, they go way back and kanami gid sa ilang mga produkto so we decided why not help them help them market it no um, and it's not just marketing that we do um, we also help them with Tweaking the design, making it more um, sellable, no? um, telling them, oh, this is what your market wants, Challenge, challenging them, no? Th making them think out of the box. Uh, we ask them to produce something new, um, something not yet seen, and something that's different. No? And um, just so everybody, when they see our product, they will see, wow, katakum gidali sa mga himo, sang ilonggo. For now, ma'am, can you tell us ano mga mga products niyo nga available within your uh, ginabaligya niyo subong already na for to reach your market? Ano may ara ka mo subong? So we have um, home um, and mga deco, home decor, mga kitchen and table accessories. We actually call it the Ilonggo Table Collection. Um, may ara kami mga patajong, may ara kami mga um, so solia made out of the bamboo, no? So and then we are kami mga bags, lifestyle, we are hablon. So the hablon, we have clothes and we have other items na hablon na we made. No? Those are our collections, very, very rustic Ilonggo, showing people na our life is so simple here in Iloilo, but really the things that we have are very beautiful. Ma'am Lenny, what's your message to everyone, especially to Ilonggo producers out there, artists? Or anybody who would like to in, uh, indulge in this kind of uh, startup business. Ang work sang Ilonggo, it's really beautiful. We should all come together and help one another to let everybody out there know what Ilonggo work is all about. No? Um, and, you know, 
not to be afraid to just go do it maski na may pandemya we can really work on it if we are committed um anyway in the end if we help one another dako na ni nabulig sa tanan kag uh, na communities kag artisans naton kag mapakilala gid naton ang beauty sang Ilonggo all right wonderful thank you very much ma'am Lenny for sharing your time with us this morning Thank you, Atwani said, and thank you to our viewers for watching. Ah, ayan ha, mga kapuso, Obra Ilonggo. Uh, ginapakita nga ti, if there's a platform for the Ilonggos to showcase their products, I'm sure, no? Tingwaan mo na sa Ilonggo to be the best that they can be. And wala duda, because of our rich history and tradition, we have products that have more stories than how it looks, no? That's why ginapangita gid, kagusto gid, maangkon sang madamo nga mga tagbalakal anywhere in the country or anywhere in the world. Duga nga informasyon, ka good vibes sa pagbaliksang GMA Regional TV Early Edition. Ini ang GMA Regional TV Early Edition.